Here's the problem with the word relationships. What does it really mean? I, I don't know what they mean. I'll tell you a little story. Uh, I am one of the most blessed people that you'll ever meet in a lot of ways. I was born in a foreign country, born in Beirut, Lebanon. Uh, the woman that uh, gave birth to me left me in a maintenance closet at a hotel across the street from an orphanage. And I don't have any ill will towards her. She, I don't know her story. I don't know why it happened. But at least I wasn't in a basket on the front stoop of something. Uh, I lived there until I was nine months old, and I was adopted by an American, uh, Lebanese, and Greek family here in the US, in Miami. So that sounds pretty awesome already, right? I have the ability to live and be blessed and to be given a roof over my head and all the things that uh, the American dream is filled with. As I grew up, I uh, didn't have the greatest childhood. I'm an only child, so for those mothers in the room, You've either already spotted it, or in the next five minutes, it'll become obvious to you that I'm an only child. <laughs> and, and those of you laughing know what that means. I'm not a spoiled brat, but I can be a brat on certain days, and I'm spoiled on others. <laughs> I suffer from uh, terrible anxiety to this day. I suffer from terrible depression to this day. I have a terrible eating disorder to this day. And I don't tell you all that to create some sob story. I tell you that so that you understand that I put my pants on the same way, I cut the same way, and most of the time, I don't recover the same way. And so for me, business and my ability to understand math and my big mouth, that's my mother used to say, uh, gave me the ability to not feel like I was in quicksand. 